Akisa is finally in Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. Everybody was waiting for him. However, the way his mechanics works and the way he plays is a bit different compared to the other Demon Slayers in the game. And people have absolutely no clue on how to use him. So that's where this video comes in. This video, I'm going to teach you everything Akisa has to offer. From moveset, combos, and tricks and tricks on how to take advantage of your opponent and basically making your Akisa top tier instantly. By the way, if you like Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles, then this channel is certainly for you. So please consider subscribing. Enjoy. You man, so Akisa is finally here. And I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know about Akaza so we're gonna first go to his moveset so let's not waste time so this is his neutral it's so fast man I mean you know what I'm saying his first light looks very short so it's like Zenitsu Swamp and this is the range of the tilt light attack and see it's so good and this is a jump attack oh my this it looks like a super it looks like a super and you can use this to extend your combos basically and this is his grab wait yeah that's his grab oh my days <laughs> it's so good guys but yeah you guys you can use the grab to obviously basically like fake your opponent you can fake you can cancel your dash and then grab so yeah that's 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 best to use your grab and by the way, this is his dash. His dash is so fast. It's just fast like Shinobu. I feel like Shinobu's one is a bit faster, but it's still fast regardless. So, you guys, he's very good for offensive. Just remember that. Keep that in mind that you can use a lot of offense. You can have the offense placed off Akaza 100%. So, obviously, let's look at his up tilt. You can obviously extend combos with this. Oh my days, bro. Okay, let's look at his down tilt. I'm getting a bit carried away, guys. Let's look at his um, down throw. Oh my days. It's so fast and so good. Oh. God. <laughs> Anyways. Um, let's look at his charge light. Oh my days. This is so good, bro. And uh, uh, I don't know, bro. This is too good, bro. This is size steps. All of that. That's the moveset we're gonna go to skills next let's look at um akasa's full um skills moveset so skill one is distractive death air type which is like a long range move by it's basically like a long range projectile this is how it's normally done and if if you jump however guys this is a pro tip if you jump it basically has range in the whole map so basically you can basically zone with akasa if you want to like this is a good zoning move if you're on like neutral far away from your opponent like you guys make sure if you're far away from your opponent and you don't want your opponent to you know what i'm saying close you down for pressure yeah just use this move it's so good man i'm telling you his second move which is destructive death disorder if you draw first wrestling remember it reminds me of uh jotaro's um ora, 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 ora. if you got if you jump force veterans no but yeah this is the range and obviously you can cancel it you can cancel it to another super if you want to it's very good very good and you can dash as well so basically it's a combo standard it's very nice and let's look at his third move which is the technique development now this one is the one that stops time sorry guys for anyway this is the one that stops time and stops mashing technique development destructed the compass needle this stop mashing 100 percent the counter to all mashing literally it's r1 this destructive death look at that see that it easily punish mashing and it has loads it has good range look at look at that animation <laughs> wait see i literally punish the opponent mashing so you guys this is the this is literally the counter to mashing so when your opponent on ranks is trying to mash you literally use that technique development move i'm telling you and you guys there's something new about demons if you guys notice at the top left you can see that there's two red bars glowing 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 that's basically his quote unquote so support move that's what you probably call support move for like normal demon slayers but for demon because they play solo that's basically the support move but even though it's not support move, i'll call it for support move because it's basically the the assist gauge type of move but yeah it's part of his moveset so we we'll talk we'll look at the first one you have to click l1 to um to do this move it, it's basically a combo finisher so always if if you're going to make combos always finish with this move and obviously we're going to take a look at his tilted l1 so you guys to do this the second skill the second assist skill 
all you have to do is tilt L3 and then press L1, I mean. Sorry about that, guys. And anyways, I put inputs anyways, so yeah. Literally. And it's a combo standard, so you can start combos with this easily. And it is very fast. It's very, very fast. So you can catch people of guard with this move. So you guys, when you when your opponent, if you want to catch people of guard with this move, and if you want to take a risk, this move is the perfect move to catch your opponent off guard. Just keep that in mind. It's so good. Literally. The, literally, now I see why Demons play solo. They didn't they don't even need assist. These are this is their assist. This is basically their assist. Oh my days. And let's look at the ultimate. Basically, let's and this is his uh his neutral combo awakened, by the way. So good man. And this is the ultimate. Ah, oh, this is too good, bro. <clears throat> oh my days. You man, look at this. This is too cold. Destructive death. <laughs> Look at the damage as well, you man. This is too mad. Anyways, yeah, we, we, we're next gonna go to the, the game plan and strategy with Akaza and tips and tricks on how you can advance your opponent and take advantage of your opponent with Akaza. So now, the game plan of Akaza is that you can play offensive because you have this move. Literally, you can play zoning. So when your opponent is trying to run away from you, you can easily literally use this move to like, you know what I'm saying, catch them and that. And bro, and if you want to zone, you can use this move like, you can you can go for oppressive as well. You know what I'm saying, put damage or like put pressure on your opponent. This guy, this guy Akaza, you can literally put too much pressure. And literally too much pressure in this move like this. Akaza is so good for pressure, like this guy is... In my opinion, you should play more aggressive with Akaza because this guy has too much pressure. Like he has so much pressure. But even so, if your opponent is running away from you, say if like you know I'm saying Rengoku players just want to run away and then they want you to come to them to make the mistake, you can literally give them the taste of your own medicine by using the air tight and boom, boom, they have no choice but to come to you. And when they make the mistake, you can punish them with either the L1 move, the new mechanic move, whatever you call it, and then basically you know what I'm saying apply pressure and mix up your opponent easy. Akaza is just he's just such a he has so much to offer in terms of offensive guard pressure and offensive options. Like you guys just gotta take advantage with his moveset, especially with his new moves, which is the L1 and the R3 and L1 move. Like this one. This one is a combo finisher, so never never um start a combo with this move. Like the, you know what I'm saying? But obviously. You know the the L3 L1 move. So definitely use that move to catch your opponent off guard with. Like if you guys want to catch your opponent off guard with that, like I said in the skill breakdown, use this move. But overall, like I said, I guess that's more of a like a more of a, like a ground guard pressure type of character. But if you if you want to play defensive, you can always use that air type move. It's so good. And if you want to basically punish mashes and punish people that want to spam super then you can use this destructive death it's so good see that see that it punishes mashing dashing so good bro i'm telling you like literally you can catch your opponent off guard with this so yeah you guys keep that in mind his moveset is absolutely good punish mashes go for guard pressure go for intense pressure or zone and move around with akaza because and his dashes are so fast his, his, his like look at that his dash is it, like you know my saying my opponent was trying to dash me but because of his dash it's so fast you can just apply too much pressure you can catch your opponent god with just his dash so you guys keep that in mind and use that to your advantage to win your games and take advantage of your opponent that is so good bro oh my days Won't hold back. So give it your all. 
Soon, folks i can't like kind of just rush this video but obviously let me know what i missed in this video in the comments down below and i'll pin your comment and if you guys like the video then obviously like the video stay tuned for the really guide obviously tomorrow and yeah you might as well like the video if you enjoyed this guy subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys very soon make sure you guys stay blessed